Hello and welcome to live editing of Wikidata again with me, Jan Einari and Albin Arsson. Hello, Albin. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Jan? I'm so excited. There's so much news in the Wikidata world these days. Indeed, yeah. Yeah. We had the abstract Wikipedia for just a few weeks ago, and this week it was the Sparkle query service for structured data on commons. So, yeah, like, there's. Yeah. It's, it's so a small Christmas on. in the middle of the summer. <laughs> yes. Well, I actually have my birthday coming up, so I, I, I'll take oh. it first. OK. Yeah. But I'm not going to go into anything of that today. Are you going to go into anything of that today? I'm not. I'm still exploring on my own uh, currently. I am going to yep. do, however, some Wikilab sports. So it's currently going on. It was supposed to be during the Summer Olympics and the Paralympics. But it's still going on without them actually being done this summer. Mm -hmm. So, gonna do some querying to see what we can do. Yes, and that's a, a huge international uh, collaboration right now in the Wikimedia movement. Yeah. And we'll say hello to Nicholas as well. Uh, and he also says yes. Yeah. WCQS is amazing and already very promising. I agree that it's, it's going to be so. Yeah. I, we, we might do a special next week with structured data uh, on commons. And we might. Like yeah. We, yeah. Uh, there's already been a lot more edits on structured data on commons I've seen, uh, actually yeah. adding content as well. So I got inspired. <laughs> yeah, me too. I've been just yeah. sitting now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so you'll be editing sports, and I'll I'll go back into the politics again. I'm actually going to go back to something you and I were talking about. I think it was three years ago, 2017. We were talking about uh, committee members in the Swedish Parliament, and there has been a lot of things going on in uh, importing data. So in the Swedish project, so for preparing for the next step. I'm going to create uh, public offices for the assignments. And for, by, for doing that, I'm going to try out the tool uh, Quick Statements today, uh, see if we get that to work. So uh, the Quick Statements, oh, yeah, I'm going to share my screen here. If you don't know, is this little tool. You find it from Wikidata Tools or just at quickstatements.toolforge.org. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit here so you can see it better without messing up the interface. Yeah, like that. And this is the same tool we ended up in last week. Yes. Um, and we didn't explain the tool as so much. And we actually no. got the import from another tool. So exactly. what I'm going to try to do is click the button, I believe. Yes, we did. And it, and it worked. <laughs> so that, that, yeah, that was it good. did. Uh, and what I'm going to try to do today is actually setting up one of these from scratch, uh, preparing it in a spreadsheet separately. Uh, and how I'm going to do that, let's see. Should I start with the No, I should start with that. So I'm going to stop share this, do, 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 stop screen and start sharing my spreadsheet instead. Let's see, uh, LibreOffice, here we go. And this is uh, like the, the, the chef, I've already prepared most of it. So we're just gonna do a few finishing touches. And we have a number of um, columns here. And what I did to research this is I actually just went to the parliament website and looking up what committees do we have. Uh, and then I just listed them in, in one uh, column. In, I started in Swedish. It turned out they also had the official English names, so that was good. But I, I just listed them, and I just listed them once first. And then I went through each of the committee has a page where you actually could see all the assignments uh, you could have. So that it could be a chair, the first deputy chair, member, and such. And they actually vary a little for the committees, which made this a little bit harder. Because sometimes you don't have the 
second deputy chair, and sometimes you actually have a third deputy chair. So that was the first, like, these are the items that I want to create. Now I want to create one item for each of these. And then, of course, we need to um, do some labeling. So here's the label in Swedish. And what I actually just did there, as you can see in the up here, I just did a concat of the two and added an in. And for English over here, I did the same, but I added the uh, did it oh. the of the. So pretty easy operation setting up the labels. I'm going to do descriptions very, very simple. Uh, it's just going to be the same on all of them. In English, it's the assignment in the Swedish Riksta. And I maybe didn't uh, explain this properly in the beginning, but what I'm going to do then later is I'm going to cut and paste this into the window we saw, and it's going to start the so I need a line here for each of the item I want. But just labels and descriptions, that's a little bit poor. So we want something more, of course. And let's see if I can just scroll it a little bit to the side here. There we go. And then in the top here, you see the properties. So P31, that's the instance off. It's going to be the same. On all of these, it's going to be a public office. They're all going to have the uh, P17, which is the country, and the P1001, which is, which is the jurisdiction set to Sweden. And then the, the, the interesting one here is the subclass. Uh, so these are going to be a subclass of a share, subclass of a deputy, or something, a sub, subclass of a substitute. So, so we can find them. And then the last one that are on everyone, P361, is part of. So this is part of this committee. So that's how it's going to link to, to so we actually see. So that's where you, everything come in handy. And this one is going to say, oh, I have some left to do here. So this is. Uh, appointed by, or uh, I think. And the chairs are actually appointed by the committee itself, whereas those that are blank here, though are, they are appointed by the Swedish Riksdag, uh, the assembly. So we're going to add the item for the Swedish Riksdag here. And in the last column, uh, we have uh, what they are sharing on. So there's a property for that, a leader of. And then in the end, we're going to see the magic here. And we're going to do some tricks with that soon. But it's and you're doing all of this manually? It's a lot of copy and pasting, but yes, manually right. and looking it up. And here, the last thing is just a big concat, because what we're going to do is just, we're going to grab, grab these comma separated things and paste in. So it's just uh, formatting for the next step. So that was what, what I prepared from before. But we're going to do a few operations here before we actually start with the pressing play on the import. So first, we're going to add, no, we're not going to start there. I'm going to switch back here, because there's a query I need to make. Because what you don't want to do when you do this, you don't want to create duplicate items. So we need to check if there's already some of these items in Wikidata. And it happens to be I know there are some, because I created some uh, like a year or two ago to try it out to see how the modeling would work. So we, we, let's see if we can find them. So I'm going to stop sharing my spreadsheet here and go back to 
to the query service. And we'll have that over here. Boom. boom. Uh, works better if I press the actual tab. There we go. Query service. And you all seen this a couple of times here. So I'm going to start with writing select and press Control Enter to get the autocomplete. Select this one for the basic syntax. I know I'm going to query, query for, I'm just going to call it an item. And I'm going to want the item label as well, so I can actually read and see what it is. So I want a la label. I'm going to start writing service to get this fancy thing that actually provides me the, the label. Uh, I think my browser is in another language. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to have English and a fallback to Swedish. These are the languages it starts listing. So I'll query for an item. Press Enter there. I want this to be an instance of, which is P31. And public office. Let's see if I, oh no, there's too much public office. There we have it. And I use this trick with a semicolon to still querying for items. I want this to be hmm. Let's try this first. Let's see if I go for country and Sweden. Just like that. See what we get. Ah, uh, you can't cannot use capital W's. 61 hits. We got some ministers, some governors, prime ministers. Looks good. Lots of governors of the counties. Oh, and here we see something. Here we have the members of the committees and some substitutes, which probably manually going to be changed to deputies later, because that's what the, the term that the, the Riksdag is using. So this looks quite good. We found there's, there's six here. What if? What if, let's check something more. What if it wasn't uh, country, but jurisdiction? Let's see that. 77 instead, that's a few more. All right. Let's see if someone else turns up here. We have the members and the substitutes, still six here. Deputy Minister, no, all right. So that looks pretty good. Well, I'm, I'm going to try also, let's see, someone might forgotten the country, but added the, uh, the committee. So I'm going to try to go with E361, which is part of and this committee, and then, whoop, and then the committee should be an instance of. I'm going to try to guess this in Swedish and see if we get any hits. Six dogs it. Parliamentary committee, disambiguation. It's going to be this, this one, yes. So this one is going to query for a public office that is a committee, and the committee is going to be part of um, the Riksdags uh, committees. Let's try that. Ah, and six again. So these are the six that we're not going to make duplicates of. I'm just going to take a look at one of them, see how they look. 
fairly basic. And now let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to remove these six from my uh, spreadsheet. So I'll switch again to my spreadsheet. Oh, oh there. there it is. There we go. And now I'll have this in a separate window over here. So I had the commit member of the committee of finance. That's going to be the member committee of finance. This row is going to go away. Delete. And the member of the committee of foreign affairs. That's going to be far down. That's the one. Committee for Foreign Affairs members. Delete that row. And then also the deputy member of the Foreign Affairs. Let's delete that one. The deputy of taxation should be somewhere here. Deputy member of taxation. Delete that row. Deputy member of social insurance. That's the fifth one. And the last defense. And that's also the deputy member. That's the one. All right. So now I made sure that we don't have any duplicates. Could there also be a point in checking uh, Wikipedia categories for this? Uh, in case they wouldn't have any uh, valid statements for this case. Uh, so if there is an article on the Swiss Wikipedia, it might be in a category. Mm. And you might find more Wikidata items that way. I'm not sure if it applies this time, but it, it's in it, general. It might be. Let me just do a quick check to see. Uh, so... I don't think any of the offices have, none of them that I already made had a site link. All right. So none, none of those six that we just saw. OK. Because uh, usually yep. that's also an additional way one can check for duplicates in case yep. there are plenty of Wikidata items which doesn't have any statements at all, so to say. Yeah, exactly. So it's a good way to if, find them. If they're completely empty. Uh, yes, and I, I when I did my research, I, I thought that it was hard to actually find all the uh, committees from Wikipedia. So it was actually easier to use the the Parliament website itself for it, which is often unusual. It's often the other way around. Which relates to question we used got here. Are these all described on a common web page or reference source? Um, no, not individually, unfortunately. So I wanted to have something to point an URL from each of these, but I couldn't find anything. So they're all in one. And they're not even described as such, but they're just uh, values on the members themselves. Right. Uh, but back, there, back here, so we had this uh, still, this column that we're going to fill in here. And all these empty ones are going to get the value for Swedish Riksta. So let's see if I can paste it here. Then unfortunately, LibreOffice is not that. Well, I could resort this. I should, I will probably resort this anyway soon for another reason. But these aren't too many, so I'm just going to do a quick control V operation here. So this was sort of my preparation for this uh, yesterday. Oh, here's a lot of things. I wonder if I didn't get farther. Yes, this is. Oh, so this is wrong now. 
do, 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 go back up until here. Because here we're going to have the deputy. So let's go from the back here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit too, so I can see a little bit more in the same. It'll be hard for you to see. But I'm just going to, yeah, I want to see, be able to see that field, yes. So there we're going to add it, there we're going to add it. Remember, we're not going to add it for the other ones. Chairs and the deputies, they are going to get the value of the. Yeah, that's the seat. So they're just going to get this one copied over here because they are appointed by the, commit, the committee themselves. Oh. On the first day they meet, they have this uh, internal election to appoint these roles. All right. So now that one is also prepared. So I'm going to zoom in again so that you can see a little bit better. Over here. Oh, maybe that's too much. Let's see. Well, let's go over here. So now this is the I'm going to make this a little bit wider. Let's see if I can make it wide enough. Because this is the interesting cells now, the inter interesting column. So we have this, this column. And as you can see, it has L for label and SV for Swedish, D for description, SV for Swedish, and then for English. So uh, we have the Swedish label, the Swedish description, the English label, the English description, and they just comma separated. And underneath that, it's just the other columns uh, also concatenated in a similar way. Mm, and we, let's see if we can see if it, isn't too, oh, it's goes out too far in the right, yeah cannot see the entire thing. So now I'm just going to grab this and copy it all the way down. Now I'm going to see the end. I'm going to guess it's there. Oh, one too many. A lot of text. And then I'm just going to copy everything of that. A big control C. And I'm going to switch back to our window with the Did I accidentally close that one? No, didn't. There we go. So now we're back into um, quick statements. And now I'm just going to paste here. And we get all of this. And now there's a little bit of a thing that I need to do here before actually trying to import it. I need to specify the first column as well. And it's going to be the QID. And I did it this way just so I can drag everything uh, and copy the column all the way. Because if you leave the first one empty, that's the secret code for or It's not secret. It's well documented. It's, it's, the, it's how you make sure you create a new item. So you leave the QID empty there. 
Right. And let's see. So now I'm just going to try to import and see if it understands what I just pasted. And there it creates a lot of items. Eighty three, which seems correct. But it seems like there's too few statements. Yes. Uh -huh. So why is that? Errors? Zero errors? Can I see all 100 here? All 83? So it seems to make the first the instance of public office correct. And these Swedish, English, Swedish, English, that seems fine as well. Can I spot anything in my... Ah, uh -huh. yes, all right. So I'm gonna sw switch back so you can see my error. Da -da -da. Gonna stop sharing there. S share screen. Go back to here. So you can see uh, my uh, it doesn't even have the other things here. So there's something wrong with my. Aha, uh -huh. you can even see it here in my concatenate. This one only go to I2, whereas this goes much farther. So I'm going to grab this one and see if it, way, much better. And I'm going to copy that and go back to the quick statements again. A lot of switching windows here. Uh, do, do, do. And that's not the button. I've tried that before. Share screen. Find the quick statements and share. How do I do now? Can I go back somewhere here? Reload, maybe? Share, reload. Maybe just new batch. That's I don't right. need to save this. Yeah, let's just do a new one. No new? Reload. Yay. Good. Paste. And now we also see the values there. Add this little QID again. And import. Yay! That looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Oh. Oh yes. So we had organization directed the empty ones. You didn't like that. I I was worried that was going to be the case. Would it do something or would it skip it? I I don't know. Let's see if there's an, something error in the bottom. In fact, switch to the error here. No. Well, this might be after. So hopefully it just writes everything else and skips this. Yeah. Should I try that? I guess I should. Would Let's you see. would you already here want to add some type of source to all of them? Um. 
Possibly. Yeah. Uh, we have a suggestion here to Describe use. Describe by source. Exactly, which I imagine could be uh, the the website where they does, are mentioned. Does the website have an item? Because that's going to be an item. Yeah. And especially for websites, this is not necessarily super easy because websites changes. Uh, one might need a point in time or something like that or use described by URL. But I don't think that's possible in this case. No. I don't think there's, we have it for the database, but that's not where I got the data. I guess the data is there as well. No, I don't need to guess. I know the data is there as well. I just didn't look there but they use the same data on the website. So we could use this. Right. Yeah. All right. Good help, Paul. Thank you. Uh, but I think we're already at like 30 minutes. So <laughs> I, I, I'm going to do it like this. Uh, I, I'm not going to press play here, because that was an excellent suggestion. But as you have already seen like sort of my method, what I will do now is that I will go back to the spreadsheet again, add a new column, add that value. Uh, oh, I also need to figure out how to say things are sources. Well, I, I don't even know that yet. So I have, I'll probably have to learn that till next time. Uh, but if I were to import this now, as we saw in the last episode, you just hit the run button here in the bottom. Oh, and I should stop this uh, annoying banner here. This run button in the in in the bottom here. But I'm not going to do that now because that's an excellent suggestion. I'm going to try to figure out how to add the references, and before actually pressing play here. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll have some homework to do, <laughs> and I'll pass it over to you. Thank you very much. And I am going to do some editing for Wikilab Sports, which is currently ongoing. We we didn't get the Olympics this summer, but we still got to, to do some editing. So I actually went into this without really knowing what to edit. Um, it's mainly focused on the Olympics and the Paralympic Games, which my favorite sports aren't a part of. But I thought we would do some exploration of uh, what's actually in here and what we could possibly edit. So they have this page on articles that are relevant. And you can see this long list they have here. And it just happens to be powered by Spark QL query. So I decided to take this and change it slightly. So we got something like this. We are selecting items which participated in, and then we give it uh, the various main items for the Olympic Games. So there is this mm. kind of generic. This is just Olympic Games. This is just Summer Olympic Games, and so on. While we also in Wikidata has items for, I think all of them actually, or most of them. Probably. So yeah. we, so I thought this would be a good task to play around with to begin with, to see if we can track some of this down. Mm -hmm. um, so for and this I, query. And I don't think we have used uh, the values command before on stream. Oh, we might not have. No, um, I think that's new. So it's super useful for various things. Here it's used for essentially allowing a variable to have multiple values. So it's more of an array or a list mm -hmm. uh, in this case, uh, which allows us to, instead of writing a very long OR query here, uh, we can just write this like this. Super useful. Um, we got some additional things here. We got, uh, we're selecting all site links because I want them counted. 
Uh, we are asking for it to be human. I'm, I'm actually going to try to do minus on this one later, see if we got participants in the Olympic Games which aren't humans. Um, I don't think so, but let's see. Or maybe they got things like uh, actually maybe. animals which are part yes, of the horses the or something like that. Yeah, or... Exactly. Uh, I didn't think of that. Uh, I also got this image here. It's just kept from a phone from the query I used as an origin. But um, essentially, both of this and the wiki based site links are optional. So let's see if it does something. I'm going to remove the item label. I don't really like item labels for exploratory work like this. Uh, it helps me to avoid some um, faults I might have about what I want to do before I go ahead. And I'm going to order them by the amount of site links they have. Uh, this is because we're essentially going to do some cleaning work here. Like we have uh, this item here, which is used participated in the Olympic Games, uh, Summer Olympic Games, I assume that is. Uh, but that's not the case. Of course, Henry Taylor here participated in a particular one. So from the United Kingdom, uh, a rally driver, right, member of sports team, right, sport, outdoor racing, rallying, Olympic Games, Sport, oh, Bob. Yeah, I was right. going to say rally is not part of the Olympics, and the image was a bobsleigh. So he, is it? he was it looks multi talented. Like is it a car in the bobsleigh? It looks wow. like that. Oh, oh yeah. This <laughs> is a person a driving a car bobsleigh on a bobsleigh run. run. <laughs> Daredevil. Indeed. That's. Uh, Never seen that before. <laughs> no. Okay, so participated in the Olympic Games, sports bobsled, but which Olympic Games? Let's see, Wikipedia. We've got the English Wikipedia article here. Let's see. I'm just going to search. Uh, after retiring for rally, he became for manager. He also drove the British Olympic team no no year there you had a source yes it had a source that's very true okay but it's uh, ah. a book um, okay we might not be able to do this one there is no category of things like that that might indicate it okay no i don't think we will be able to do that one without doing some proper research um i'm gonna shake see we got a swedish one as well let's try that No, I'm afraid it doesn't even mention the Olympics. No. Okay. That no no success on the first one. Let's see the next one. Twelve side links. All oh, right, we're not gonna be able to do this one. <laughs> um. Oh. Let's see just how it states it's participating in Olympic Games. Participated in. Oh, this is interesting. So this is actually about the modern Olympic Games started in 1896. So it's not totally correct. Mm. I'm still gonna leave it like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the actual item for the Asian Olympics would be. Let's let's take the another one. And yeah, this is the Paralympics. All right. 
Um, here we got this actually summer 2012 Paralympics, Paralympic Games. Let's see. All right, we got a great source here as well, an official one. Let's see if he did it more than one year. 2012, at least medals only in 12. Let's also check the Wikipedia article. If I, yeah, an English one. 2012, 2012. Um, tennis career. 2012. Oh, no, only 2012. Okay, yep. then I actually gonna do just some cleanup, mm -hmm. um, removing this. We didn't need to track down an additional year. That's great. Let's see, we're gonna do at least another one with this query before we might try some other things. Um, same country, let's see. Yeah, here we actually only got participating mm. in the Paralympic Games. Mm -hmm. So here we got some, some work to do, but we still got this official source. Ooh. And 2012 and 2016. So I'm going to keep that reference URL. Two thousand twelve. Right. I, I think it starts with it. It starts with the year. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. No, right. I'm gonna search Wikipedia. Paralympics 2012. Track down the Wikidata item this way. Uh, right, of course. Let's see, that was not the right one. I should really close my tabs when I'm done with them. 2012 Summer Paralympics. Uh, oh. I, I saw something else you could add for a previous one. Okay. Because uh, the tennis player you had there, it said in his article that he got to carry the... No, that was the, the flag in the end. No. I, I saw there was an item for the torch, but I con uh, confused the torch with the flag. Right. Here I did the classic one, added uh, the reference as a qualifier, um, not the first time and definitely not last time in my case. So we're going to update it and we also had the 2016, double checking, yes, and add value. Summer Paralympics 2016, add reference, reference URL, the same, publishing it, now actually moving this first one as we have better ones, I'm actually going to edit this one as well because Retrieved is super easy to add because it fills in today's date by itself. Let's see this one as well. 
my bad not doing it from the beginning and publish something like that let's see um i'm gonna take another look i can't resist i can't resist looking at not right it might need cleanup um still israeli i see a pattern here at lots of sports as well and many paralympics let's see if it's all of them or we can remove the generic one 88 76 72 68 64 64, 72, 76, 68, 88, all of them. Can remove the generic one. Okay. I feel done with this query for this time. I'm actually gonna save this um, to my bookmarks because I might do more with Wiggle Up Sports. Um, let's see if we can, how many did we get here? We got 30 results. I'm going to go back to this one. This has a very interesting one because it also have the, a list of the five most recent Olympic games. Um, I got some generic there. I want to have these ones. The more specific ones for the last five years, I believe. And I want to have a look at this because I really want to see first if we have ones that aren't humans in the last five years, but also I want to do some statistics and visualization here in VDQS for what sports people are doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a lot of results oh. here. 45,000 results. Yeah, I imagine there are a lot of football players in a team, so to say. Adds up quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's see here then. We're going to see if we have ones that aren't humans. Minus, minus with this type of wings. And let's run it. I'm hoping for something exciting here. Can we have some fictional humans? Oh, right. We could have some fictional humans as well. But maybe Ooh. not in the specific ones. But we've Almost got a lot of results here. Um, here, here, labels would actually be useful. Um, we got the football teams. <laughs> I. This is a slight disappointment. <laughs> yeah, all the of, teams. Of course, we got teams as well. Um, okay, I wanna I have a few more random ones here. We got countries, I can see up in my tabs. Yeah, we got entry country participated in. Yes, 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 yes. That one we were just editing. Okay. I must admit that I'm slightly disappointed. Uh -huh. Flag of Israel. Yeah. If you just go to image grid now, will it uh, yeah. float all the images to the top? And maybe we can I spot a horse. So. Indeed. We really want that horse. Here we have what looks like a person that might not have the human one. Teams, countries. This one, I'm a little. Did I use the commons image? That was not what I wanted. Um, so I want the lower one here as well. Hello, countries. More flags. 
Okay, no hovers to begin with. Okay, so this is the image for Spain at the Olympic Games. Okay. All right. And this is for the chess. A little bit odd. Okay. A little bit odd. Mm. I am gonna stick to humans then, but I also want to select sport. And I don't want to do it optional um, because I want to make this a bubble chart actually. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's a very mm. neat thing here in Wikidata, the Wikidata query service. I imagine it's also in the Wikimedia Commons query service. Um, and here, control space, support. I actually don't know it in my head. I want to select it up here. I also want to do sport, sport label. So I type that and we'll add the service here. Again, uh, autocomplete. I actually want to switch this around. I want to default to English. Which I think it does anyway, but oh, I tend to do it that way for some reason. Let's see what we get here. So it takes a while. But it seems to be up to date today. Mm, just a minute. Yeah. Oh, so quite a lot of them have sport done. Almost, Almost everyone, sport. I guess. Yeah. Um, association football, tennis. Right. Let's see now how this is usually done. So if I go to bubble chart, will it default to something? To the number? Right. Or. Whoops. He's, he's trying to, to render 45,000 bubbles. Yeah, this might not have been a great idea. <laughs> because now I think that oh. it did something. It worked. Ooh. But I wonder what, uh, yeah. So the, so, the, so the biggest bubble is the one with most cyclings, I guess. And then the bubbles are smaller and smaller. Now, I wonder what it actually made bubbles for. Try clicking something in the middle. Oh, they are clickable, right. They yes. made bubbles for each person. Yes, because you didn't group it yeah, right. by sport. I can actually. So I think it took the value from link count there and made the bubble yeah. size. Group it by sport. It should also render quicker, I imagine. And I gonna let's see my my browser. I must imagine it got kind of slow by this for some reason. <laughs> um, let's also clean this up here to give it a little more speed because we want it. Uh, Cash anyway. They actually don't need the item either. Do you want to do a count here then? Yeah, I actually want to aggregate by sport. But I wonder if the bubble service used manage it like this. And I don't want to select this thing. Then I need an item as well. Um, would it work if I just reorder it? Something like that. Would that work? Group by sport. 
Sport is the first one. Imagine that you do it. Let's see here. Bad aggregate. Mm -hmm. Right. Sport label. I think that's going to give you the same number of lines. Because item is the the participant. No? What are the items? The item would be the participant. But I added it last, so it would... Mm -hmm. I only kept this to keep yeah. it distinct. You got, got it um, fewer because I guess some of them participated in several Olympics. Right. Um, I, of course, want to do something like this. Select distinct. Um, something like this as count. I want to wrap that. Oops. I have no idea how to use this bubble chart. You're seeing me try and fail here. There is documentation, but yeah. And then I don't wouldn't need that anymore. I wouldn't need distinct anymore. I'm gonna keep the label there. Um, no need to select the sport itself. Something like that, maybe. Incurred count. Isn't that how I do it? I think it's you start with the count and then as I see. Right, of course. Of course. Right. All right. That's going to be something. That should be something. Exactly. And then go to the bubble chart. Oh, right. That's no, what that's you what wanted. wanted. Yes. Yeah. It took a while today. Well, um, it's beautiful. Yeah. Athletics, association football, I believe. Canoeing is wondering i wonder this would be very interesting to compare to some official statistics mm -hmm. and see how much it differs mm -hmm. uh, it is like a perfect task for someone that would want to participate in weekly of sports um i for example i wonder if the the team sport shouldn't be larger um, and there is actually like team members who doesn't have a Wikidata I team or doesn't have it. Uh, they mentioned that participated in. Possibly, yes. Um, but watch your eyes, yeah. But I guess I, I guess athletics is because there's so many different things going into athletics. Yeah. Because you don't have. Well, you do have track but that might be something else but otherwise i think you have all the distances for uh, running and sprinting and going indeed. into athletics indeed that's very often good. i guess this is something that one could work on because i imagine one could get it more specific for all of this um i imagine there are a lot of ones which has just run at three thousand meter ten thousand meter and so on which I imagine would also have Wikidata items. Mm -hmm. I'm not not however sure that they would be. They wouldn't actually be sport when I'm thinking of it. We also here got a discipline. Mm -hmm. So yep. ten thousand meter, for example, would be a discipline in yes. athletic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this might not be a very good representation of things. 
it's still it's still beautiful and yeah, I, I think indeed. I think the trick for the bubble chart is you you need to feed it a number which is yeah. the size of the bubble and in the first one it actually recognized hey I have the site link number I'll, I'll use that and you get yeah. Ronaldo and Lionel uh, Messi in the in the middle there yeah so what we ended up with were a number and a label essentially yep yep and that did the trick uh, i don't think ordering them does any difference here no only for the table view i guess only for the table view, view right i also think it actually impacts things like image grid um, mm, yeah and i know it impacts some of the shards i remember we played around with the graph builder Mm -hmm. And it had an impact, but yeah. So this, for someone who knows where to get official stats. Actually, here we, for example, got 10,000 meters, which isn't a sport, but a discipline. So there's um, something we could correct pro probably because yeah. there's only two as well. Yeah, and exactly. Six meters. of the high jumps there as well. Yeah, 800 meters, similar. Mm -hmm. um, a hundred yeah, meters if you order these by uh, ascending you will see all the odd cases first yeah so order by ask and ask is a function i believe yep um, let's run that it should be rather quick rather quick <laughs> it should be no, I mean, it's rather impressive uh, that it yes. does what it does anyway. Yeah. So, Ultra Trail, is that in the Olympics nowadays? I don't know. Uh, Possibly not, yeah. since it's just one. Laser? Yeah, that's wrong. Uh, but motor number racing is one, just one participant. Sounds like there should be more. Yeah, it might be uh, uh, mountain biking. Which exactly. then racing is uh, those physical racing shouldn't yeah. be there, but we can also see trail running here, and here women association football only one mm -hmm. human. Um, English boxing that might, might have been Olympics back in the days. That, indeed, indeed, indeed. Some sports have uh, ice sailing. Has there, there's been a lot of discussions about which sport should be included in Olympics, yeah, but of yeah. course they also remove sports and mm -hmm. something less discussed. I wonder what the sort of doesn't have an English label here. Uh, Paralympic sport, it only says. But if you show all the lang uh, languages. Uh, right. here, uh, here we have a sailor with us. Laser is a sailing discipline. Right. Interesting. And that's all right. Yep. Could need some work. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is actually There's great. There's some ideas. To find things to work on. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. Formula One. Oh, actually, this is not necessarily. So someone will participate in the Olympics or the Paralympics yeah. might also have altered sports, of course, which yes. they didn't do this time. So actually, mm -hmm. there is, uh, you can actually use the sport property as a qualifier on participated in. So we can mm -hmm. say participated in uh, uh, the yes. Winter Olympics 2018. Yes, um, sport like that. and so on. Uh, but I imagine also, that's not. We, we also have common. these uh, some of the like. Uh, it's not very unusual for sprinters to switch to long jumps yeah. uh, from one Olympic to another. Yeah, we have another sailor here with us. Haxbet knows laser is sailing. Right, but, but I think I still think it's a discipline. So for sport, it shouldn't be there. We should have sailing. Yeah, yeah, it should. Yep. Um, yep. I, I imagine um, this uh, 
I think we have showcased it once previously, yep. but this sport uh, property, it's it's used for just about everything um, as qualifiers, as properties for teams, for humans, uh, for clubs, uh, for locations, for example, for an arena, mm -hmm. uh, which makes it very useful, but also slightly tricky to model. Mm. But yeah, yep. so here, yep. this is where essentially some ideas what one can do for Wikilove Sports, which is, I believe, ongoing to September. Uh, so plenty of time to Should experiment. we share this query? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna share both of the queries. Uh, I have yep. marked them. Yep. If you okay. share, the, uh, share them in the comments here, they'll go out immediately. Short URL failed. Uh, I think the quiz might be too long. To ah, do short yes. Um, um, that's too much explanation text. Helpful. Yeah. But yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think you're going to share them yep. somewhere around the official content page at least. Mm -hmm. um, for. We can have sports if anyone want to reuse them. But yeah, hopefully someone cool. got inspired. Yep, and I got some uh, homework. <laughs> so, so I'm going <laughs> to uh, learn how to do the references uh, and before I start uploading. Yeah. yeah. All right. And the next time, maybe some structured data in Commons, then I imagine. I, I, I think we can promise that. Yeah, I think we next can. time we're going to do yeah, some then we got data on commons. So if you want to see that, account. yeah, tune in next yeah. time. We're going to see. I think we're both going to try out some queries and also some uh, show off some of the tools for mass editing. Right. Yeah, we will. Yep. Bulk editing or something like that. Yep. All Indeed. right. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you. And until next time. Until next time.